Good evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2012. The following are a few examples of trade setups that occur on a consistent basis. These trade setups are described in detail in the trading manual and in the live daily Shark Den, where we discuss more advanced trade setups. The market opened up this morning at 1379.75, represented by this white dotted line. We don't generally trade from 9.30 to 9.45. Coming out of the 9.45 time frame, we had an opportunity to get long. Target 1 and Target 2 were hit for a total of 10 ticks. Looks like we did have an opportunity to get long. Target 1 was hit, was touched. Some people may not have gotten touched. And this could have been a full stop out, but, um, and I did not take this trade long. But in general, I'm going to go ahead and show it because the, the trade set up nonetheless. Target 1 was hit, got stepped out for minus 2 ticks. Then right here at about 10.41, we had an opportunity to get long. Target 1 and Target 2 were hit for a total of 9 ticks. Going into the no trade zone from 11.30 to 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. Crossing the moving average back to the upside. Found resistance again at the 13.85 to 13.86 level. 13.86 was the gap fill from April 13th. That was last Friday. Once that was filled, there was a nice gradual sell-off into the close. No further trades in the afternoon. And that was it for the day. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark Trading Manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the Shark Den in the morning.